Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we're going to continue on with our trinity of trading. And uh, there's three criteria for uh, these such things. One of those is sentiment analysis. This is Weston Nelson. Nelson, he is head of uh, business operations over at Trade the Chain. Uh, technical analysis brought to us by CJ from Market Rebellion. And then I'll be doing the fundamental analysis. So if we take all three of these things together, we should find a pretty good pick. And just as a reminder, let me share my screen right quick. So our two picks that we've done recently are both right there for you to see. And the one that we do today will also be on there for whatever we call. Everything starts with the sentiment analysis with Weston. We're gonna move on to CJ and the technicals to make sure they all line up. If they do, it gets to me on the fundamentals and we'll see if we can move forward. So gentlemen, start your engines. What do we got? So, so no pressure, right? Starts, no pressure. Start, starts with here. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's pull up the uh, trade the chain sentiment dashboard. Um, make sure that you can see this. A okay, and should be seeing the spotlight page, which is the main page. Okay. And then now going over the coins. And, and so um, while you're going through this, let me just uh, give a little backdrop to Trade the Chain. Just so you know, sentiment analysis, what Trade the Chain does is it actually crawls all the different websites and blog posts for some of the biggest uh, names in, in the uh, industry as far as cryptocurrency. Plus, it has one of only four cryptocurrency companies that has a direct API into Twitter. And it takes billions of tweets and gives us a sentiment analysis and that's what we're going to look for today to see what could be a potential big winner. Yes, yes, very well said. Um, I think it's it, it's it's important to note, you know, crypto assets, a new asset class. It almost stands to reason that you'd have a new tactic for identifying performance in that that new asset class, and that's kind of what sentiment is. Um, I think of it like momentum, news, you know, sentiment, all similar uh, in nature. But now we have a way to quantify it. So. Um, we are in the coins page. So if I were to be looking for a trade, again, typically I'm looking for a short term, one a couple hours or a swing, maybe three to five days. Um, I'll start right here. One hour projected price range, um, kind of scan through. Uh, this one is very easy. Um, synthetics network token. I mean, we've got, so our range down, 4.45%, which is, you know, considerable, but higher to the upside with a 4% mean. Um, relative trading volume is up 123%. Tweet volume is through the roof. And then look at that daily and hourly sentiment, um, as well as the one hour change. Hasn't been that crazy yet. And then there's some fundamental things I know that are going on, but I'll, I'll leave it just at the sentiment for now for you guys. Um, so that would be, that would be my pick. And I would say this is a, um, let's see, what's the date today, the 12th? This would be a multi, well, a short, this would be both a short term and a multi day hold. Okay. CJ, let's take a look at the technicals. Um, yeah, I would love to pull up my chart. Uh, and guys, Weston is the best sentiment trader I know, um, just based on his hyper focus and attention to detail and his track record thus far. But I have to say with this pick, I'm liking it. It's pretty green across most time frames on the sequential indicator, which is what I use to enter and exit trades. Now, the one thing uh, that we've got here on the one hour time frame, because I know that's uh, a little bit more uh, how Weston likes to play these uh, sentiment trades and then a shorter term time frame. I want to see this red one flip to a green six and what it would need to be able to do that is close above this previous two. So it's got to close above 1524. Once we get that initial positive price action, that shows me that, okay, the market's telling me that I'm probably onto something or I'm, I'm probably right on this one. And then, you know, get into the trade. And then I would presumably ride that out to, you know, upper levels um, here. But I, you know, it's very important to me um, to confirm that the momentum is going in my direction at the exact moment that I enter the trade. Um, I don't know if that's true for Weston. This is just what I'm seeing technically on the one hour. So yeah. So go ahead. is that is that pretty close? It looks like to where you would would be then. 
you know, yeah. like entering. Uh, let's get the ex here. I'll get the exact percentage. Um, so I'm looking for, you know, I would, I would wait for price to increase about two to three percent. Then, based on the close of this hourly, and you know, if we close and get that green six in the next forty-one yeah. minutes, um, that's just what I would be looking for. Um, but the nature of these trades, I think, when you're looking at sentiment, is uh, is much more fundamental sometimes than technicals. So I, I take I take Weston's opinion to uh, have a little bit more weight um, on these the both. trades. Yeah, the both. Yeah. I, I see it as you you playing it a little safer almost in a way here. I might get a couple percent more maybe, but um, you're waiting for confirmation, which is you know just another added added bonus. That's yeah, waiting for confirmation. It's just um, you know what I'm doing is sacrificing a little bit of that upside uh, to you know confirm that I have a higher probability of the trade going in my direction. So love it, Rob. So, so what do you think here? So I'm looking at it, it sounds pretty good. I mean, we look at the tweet volume and the trading volume and the sentiment. We take a look at the technicals, we'd like to wait a little bit more. And I think if we wait a little bit, it wouldn't be so bad. We might sacrifice some profits, but we could actually be a little bit more safer in that play, right? Yeah, I mean, think about it. You wait two, 3% of bullish price action, but I mean, Weston, what do you think is the projected upside on this 10, 15% move? What, what, do you, what do you typically see um, on these types of trades when you get the, the sentiment analysis? I know that's kind of a difficult question. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, what exactly will it be at 12 p.m. Um, tomorrow? Um, I wish I, I wish I knew. Uh, so this one is really interesting right now for a couple of reasons. There's some, there's some big fundamental factors that Rob may or may not get to in a moment here, but um, uh, I would, I, I'm looking for a, a a pretty solid gain from this over the next couple of days. Um, you know, in a, somewhere in the range of 10 to 20%, ideally. Um, I mean, it was up like 30% over the last 24 hours already. So, uh, you know, that's pretty significant. But with what's going on, looking at the sentiment, you know, the trading volume is just, it seems to be increasing. So I don't see, I don't see it slowing down. Okay, so let's take a look at, so if it was me, I'd probably put a little bit in. Not a big trader, I mean, I suck at trading, that's why I have you geniuses here. So I'm gonna take a look at a little bit of the fundamentals here. So let me just share my screen and see what I got. So the first thing I'm always gonna take, take a look at is CoinGecko. What the heck is this? Well, it's number 17 uh, in, in the top 20 for crypto market cap. It's $15 right now. We take a look at 24 hours, just like you were talking about, Wes, and you said, you know what? It's only been, it's only gone up by a percentage, so we haven't missed something fantastic. Over seven days, this is what we've seen, pretty volatile, right? What the heck is synthetics, first of all? So great thing about CoinGecko, if you scroll all the way down, which I should have done on the last video that we talked about, this will tell you exactly what it, it is and what it can do. So synthetic, it's a, it's a collateral to mint synthetic assets. Uh, they can head over a mentor, stake their synthetics, smart contracts, create pretty much anything that you really want to. And then uh, what else we got? They can earn rewards. Of course, this is, a de this is all about DeFi. And of course, if you're talking about farming, synthetic also offers other li time limited incentives such as liquidity provider rewards can be viewed on mentor. And let me just read this. Synthetics is a decentralized synthetic asset protocol founded by whoever. Okay. Uh, it was known as Haven, December, launched in September 2017. Uh, yeah. It's a decentralized exchange for derivatives in the decentralized finance space, 700 million total volume locked. What are synthetic assets? They're derivatives that provide exposure to real world assets on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, got it. So it sounds like it's a pretty good thing. Ethereum, we know what's going on right there. A lot of things going on with Ethereum 2.0. The fees are outrageous right now, but we'll see how it works. What I really want to see is I took a look over at CoinStats to see if there's any new stuff on my phone. Because if you can, you can pull up synthetics, you can scroll down and just click on news. The only thing that's been recent just says Solana, Compound, Stellar, and Synthetics are already recovering from yesterday's crypto crash. That's not really news. That's just uh, assessments. So let's take a look over here and see if we can find something. I'm also a big fan of Kane, uh, personally. Just the, the since that synthetics protocol uh that guy right there that guy right there oh, okay sounds don't know who he is all right sounds good 
and memes. You know, if memes were an indicator of, uh, of growth, <laughs> well, Dogecoin would be number one. That's all I can tell you. I don't see much. I don't see much. So I don't see why there is such, such an increase in the chatter in, in the Twitterverse. Maybe there's something going on that we can't see. What is this? This is January 10th. Total value locked in DeFi. Maker, Ave, Uniswap, Compound, Synthetics, 19%, 2.1. Okay, back up. Tell me that again. What's I, happening January 15th? Plus thank you. What's um, happening January 15th for synthetics? Okay, so Ethereum sucks at scaling, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. You're trying to find solutions. You got sidechains, Matic, Stake. You got ZK rollups, LRC, uh, I think OMG. And then you've got optimistic... Um, which is their way of scaling. Synthetics, Chainlink, and Uniswap have agreed to roll this out mm -hmm. to test it. Synthetics being the first one to go live on January 15th. Excellent. That's the fundamentals we need to know. Thank you so much. Here's the next question. Where can we find synthetics? I was looking on Voyager. I didn't think you could be there. Let's take a look at the pairs. Binance, Coinbase Pro, SushiSwap. Where else can we find it? Uh, Uniswap. Uniswap. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw hundred bucks in the day and see what happens. Today it is, what time is it? First of all, what's the date? 112. Jan January 12th, 1.30 1 p.m. Mountain Time. So let's clock it right here. What's the price? 15.08. Okay, I'll put it in there for this. We'll see how we do. When do we want to get out of this position? Coming to me? Coming to you, Weston. Um, so uh, this is one that is a little unique because I'm going to watch it like a hawk. Um, uh, but I would say right around the 14th, 15th, or 16th. Days. Okay. So, so yeah, three, three, I just activated my... Sorry, CJ, my, uh, CJ, what do you think? You know, the trend is just really, really strong. Um, I'll go one, one more time back to the chart because, you know, I showed it on a shorter term time frame on the one hour, but now that Weston has kind of been, you know, saying that his time frame is to hold this for about a week or two, you know, this trend has not put in any weakness thus far. So there's really no reason for me to sell. We have a green three closing above the previous one following the nine. That's all very bullish for me technically. So uh, when the trend gives me some weakness, uh, whether it's a price flip to a red number or a, uh, a lower high, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold this one. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I, I'm looking for somewhere around 20% profits. If I, if I go from 120 bucks, I'm pulling out. That's all, that's all I'll say right there. I'm very- Okay, so you're, gonna, you're gonna take it from there? I, all right, I'm, I, I would ride it almost a little further, I'd say, but that's a little aggressive, but yeah. 20% okay. in a couple of days is good. Sounds good. All right, everybody. So that is it for Trinity Trading. Uh, again, awful trader, but I got these two guys with me. Before we take off, Trade the Chain, uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to take a look at that. Uh, not only do we have Trade the Chain uh, and how it actually works, but remember there is a robust community that's growing every day. Uh, there's a 14-day no questions asked refund. Also on top of that, CJ over there at Market Rebellion, if you want to learn TA uh, and not be like me, who knows absolutely nothing. Go ahead and take a look at them. You can start up for a dollar and they got a nice new interface. CJ, tell us what it's all about. Yeah, so what we're doing, we are a community of beginner to advanced traders all throughout the world. And what you get with our service is trade ideas, insights from myself and our other analysts at Market Rebellion. Also a macro portfolio where we change the allocations fairly regularly. Um, we're also tonight are uh, activating our new education curriculum uh, right here. So we have a couple courses. We're going to try to drop one course per month going forward on various technical analysis. Um, we also have weekly webinars that you can follow along and ask us direct questions, our trade insights, like I mentioned, and then our platform with our live chat and charting services and indicators. So you want to check out all of that. It's marketrebellion.com slash crypto. 
and you can sign up now and try all of that for just a dollar. Another thing uh, before we end here is that I strongly encourage you guys to check out Rob's video. It's 2021 and you're becoming a millionaire because uh, this video goes on more than just crypto. I really like how Rob touched on some life principles and happiness, uh, things that go further and are somewhat more important than crypto at the end of the day. That's a great video. Yeah, and also you get to see all my screw ups. So those are always uh, entertaining. <laughs> So, all right. So, everybody, so thanks so much for watching Trinity Trading. All the things we talked about, there's a link in the description, and uh, we'll see how this one does. Remember, you can find a link to uh, the spreadsheet, and I will be posting that in the description. So, thanks so much, everybody, uh, for coming by. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. See you Super on the next fun. one. Bye. Bye.